Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and tonight I'm bringing you week nine for the Marguerite Miller Collect, um, Collages um, Challenges. Um, I'm gonna work on week nine today and the hashtag for week nine is hashtag CW Planner nine. And for this challenge, we the prompts are uh, a ribbon, also transportation, and she added here can be a bus ticket or a picture of a train, for example. Um, I had this bus ticket, um, it, it, I rip it off in half because I already started on week nine. This is gonna be one of the prompts, but I missed one of the prompts, so I had to start all over again. So the only thing that I glued down was my one of the prompt, which is gonna be um, a repeating pattern. So this is gonna be my prompt repeating pattern. And we need tissue paper. So this is gonna be my tissue paper that I'm gonna use. Um, we need food packaging or label. So I'm gonna use this label from my water bottle. And as a bonus, we need something shiny. So I have this here, this paper is a glitter paper. And for transportation, I had this uh, bus um, pickup um, stickers that I may use because I was using this, but I didn't have like a focal point. I uh, What I mean is I like to have something as my focal point, like on the other ones. Week A was that this ink bottle. And then for seven, six, and week five, there were places. So I had this as my focal point. And I didn't have anything for this one. I just have pieces of paper and I don't have anything else. And the ribbon. So I was kind of feeling like I was missing something. So I went ahead and looked around to see what I have. So I had this. Um, pickup trucks um, that I may use here as my transportation, as the prompt for my transportation. And that will create my focal point. So I'm gonna keep this here because I think this is what I'm gonna use. But I'm gonna keep the bus ticket too. And maybe I will use it as my transportation prompt. So um, I was working on my background on the video that I was making before. And I glue this as my first piece for my background. And this is the repeating pattern. So I'm gonna work now around and see uh, where the other pieces are gonna be placed. So let me work on that. And one thing that I learned uh, making my first video, uh, which it was week five for the Margaret Miller, um, collage challenges is that you cannot overthink it. If you think too much where you're gonna place your items, then you're gonna take a long time and you're gonna be there uh, wondering what you're gonna do and what you need to do. So I know I, I don't want to overthink it. I'm just gonna place my items around and see what I like. And then, um, I will go ahead and glue the other pieces together um, to my back, my background. I think I'm gonna use this bus ticket as part, you know, as part of my transportation prompt and just create something here. Um, but I wanna use this background thing. So I just need something. I, I felt maybe that's this here, the Greyhounds, um, here will be my focal point, but I, I, I felt like I needed something else there. So I think I'm gonna just work with this and see if no, I will remove this or I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Just wanna go ahead and place my items. And I think I like what I see, but let me see something. Let me move. This here and see, I just I'm gonna move this around no i don't like that so i think i like this composition here right now but let me see let me get it 
another piece of this shiny paper and place it here on the top. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and distress some of my pieces before I glue them down. And you don't have to distress it, it's just that I like to distress edges. Something is your preferences. Um, so you don't have to do this part. I just like to distress edges. Um, something that I was reading on like the instructions for these challenges is that um, the bonus that she uh, add to every week is you can use it as a substitution for one of her prompts. Maybe for example, you don't have, like for today, the ribbon. If you don't have the ribbon, and but you had the shiny, something shiny, that will be, you can use the something shiny instead of the ribbon. So um, that's what I was reading. I didn't know that, but since I have everything, what I've been doing on all my uh, other videos is just, using the, you know, the bonus as a bonus, you know, extra as the other prompts. So, um, but that's something new that I learned reading that today. And it's amazing uh, with this idea that she came because it's very challenging because you have to do like a scavenger hunt in your own house and look for things that you will need to create this collage. So that I really like that, you know, it's, it's amazing how she think about this idea. And, you know, if you don't, if you are no, you are new to uh, collages, um, I recommend you to start working, you know, on these um, challenges that she had, the collage challenges because it will show you how to, you know, you can learn with this, how to do collages. Like she just give you half of the, of the work is done with the prompts and you just have to play, you know, um, with them and find a composition that you like. So that would be a good way to learn how to um, do collages if you are new to collages and you wanna learn. This is a good way to learn. And I'm, oh my goodness, I'm learning a lot with these collages and the prompts because you use things that you will never think to use in a collage. So, and it makes you think. So let me see, because this shiny paper may not work with just the regular glue sticks. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my glue gun here, the glue from my glue gun, just to have that part there glued to my background. So then this one, I think I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter because I think it's too big for my liking. So yeah, I think that one worked, that worked better. And then I was thinking to move this somewhere else. I had the, I know that I have it like this, but let me try here instead of the top. And do I want that or do I want this? Let's see. I think I like that, but I don't, I, I think I'm gonna keep the barcode for another um, collage challenge. Cause I think I saw that when I gonna need a barcode for another collage challenge. So I'm just gonna remove the barcode and I'm gonna keep it for next time. And I'm just gonna use this part. And I know I started on five, uh, on week five, I'm sorry, but I'm contemplating to make the videos for week one to four so we can have all of those on my channel too, in case that this is something that you would like to, um, you know, make in the future. So I was thinking to add those 
to my channel as well, maybe later on. So I think I like this. So let me glue this. Let me see if this will stick to my paper with just the regular glue stick. I think it will, but let's see. So now this will go here. And another thing that I read um, on her instruction, like how to do this, the collages, I think she said, um, let me see if I printed it. Just a second, let me see. I think I printed, okay, here. She say, let me read it to you so you know what to expect. You say, uh, the first one, read through the collage assignment. Determine if you are able to find all of the five prompts. The bonus is there to use in case you need to swap out one of your other prompts. Choose a glue book or somewhere you like to create your collage. Use a piece of scrap pattern paper in your collage or as a background. After you create a collage with your five prompts, add a sticker, a rubber stamp here, or anything else to embellish it if you like. If you are on social media, there, share your work using the hashtags. So that's the instructions that she provided um, when you start week one. So that's what I did. I did it without even knowing that that was something that she mentioned there. Let me just glue this real quick here. And this is what I've been doing. I've been adding with my stamp um, the date and the number for the week. And some of them I added where the place was. Like for this one, it was a church in Istanbul, Turkey. So I added that there. So I didn't know that you can add something extra at the end of your collages when you're done. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm just giving you that as an example but um, that's the instructions that she provided for um, to work with these collages. So let me just let me just use my glue gun to add the ribbon here. And I was gonna do it on the right at the edge, but I'm gonna leave this space there. And then this, I'm not too happy with it. Maybe, and then if I remove it, if, if I can still remove it. I, guess, I don't know, it's just too plain for my liking. Maybe, let me see. Just gonna put it there for a moment. And I have blue, so maybe I can use one of these blue ones going this way. Maybe one here, one here. She said transportation, but she didn't say how many. So I'm just gonna go and use a couple, two or three and see what make me happy. So I think I'm gonna go with this composition. I'm just gonna use three of them. And I'm just gonna use this for next time for something else. So let me, and I should have distressed those white edges, but I already glued them down. So just gonna use a little bit of my glue from my glue gun on this shiny paper. And then the last one, do I want it here, here? I think I want it more here to the inside. So let me just put some glue. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this composition and I think I like it better with the three um, pickup trucks. And what I'm gonna do now is um, stamp the date 
today's day and today is the 17 so let me just and i use this i don't know how you call this but it have the dates you stamp the month the day and pa or am and the year but this goes up to i think 2007 and it's a receipt answer enter paid so i usually put the pm or am and then april 17. so i'm gonna stamp this here and i think i'm gonna go ahead and do it in the bottom and then i have my number nine for the week nine and I'm gonna stamp that up here. And there you go. Now I have week nine ready. And let's review the prompts to see that we got everything. We had the rhythm, we had the transportation, we have the tissue paper, the food packaging or label, a repeating pattern, and as a bonus, something shiny. So, uh, this is my composition, my interpretation of the prompts for week nine. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and it will help me grow my channel. And if you have any question, any comment, just leave it below and I will make sure that I will answer your question. Uh, I will answer your comment as soon as possible. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you haven't seen the other videos for the previous week, go ahead and take a look at those first and then go back, you know, come back to um, video number nine um, for week number nine. Thank you. Have a good night. Happy crafting, everyone.